Hey guys and girls, it is Logan Holmes, and in this video I'm going to be talking, saying a few things about the top 10, about, um, well, not top, there's more than top 10 on here, but I'm going to be talking about the worst phantoms and groups on the internet. Bronies, I haven't really heard much about Bronies in a while, but I remember like, like two or three years ago, there, there were a lot of Bronies, and yeah, that is a pretty toxic fandom. So look at this picture here. I need feminism because liking pretty pink ponies doesn't make me gay, a woman, or a pedophile. So, yeah. Five Nights at Freddy fans, uh... Yeah, um... Oh yeah, the whole thing with Foxy, yeah... Steven Universe, I remember back, you know, some of my early video in some of my early videos, I was talking about how I, I may, maybe in some of my early videos I talked about this, but about, but Steven Universe does have a really toxic fan base. Yeah, um... Steven Universe does have a pretty bad fan base. Anti-fans and haters. Yeah, I mean, I agreed pretty much, yeah. Sonic fans. You know, that's something that's actually 2009. It, I mean, I agree with Sonic fans pretty much now with the whole thing about how the, um, The whole thing about how, um, they're, um, with, with the movie and Sonic's design and hating it, so, yeah, I agree with the fans on that Sonic's design sucks, it's, well, that was really bad. PewDiePie fans, yeah, totally, this whole thing about, I mean, I like those two T-series disses he did, they're pretty good and but I mean but then again they kind of go over uh, over the top with the whole T-series things feminist <laughs> yeah <laughs> Okay, I think this first one, this first quote really explains it well. It really depends. I'm a girl, and I feel that feminism is equality. Not yelling your head off that girls are better than boys, and boys aren't treating girls like they matter. I'll admit, some guys are like that, but some girls are like that too. 
And when it comes to competition, some girls are better than guys, and some guys are better than girls. We're all people. I think, yeah, that pretty much explains my opinion on feminism, too. So, yeah, pretty much. But yeah, feminist, uh, fi feminism does have a really toxic fan base. <laughs> Furries. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> remember that video like five years ago when they did that, uh, the parody of, uh, of single ladies about Beyonce and then they did, uh, the single furry, like, that was, I will, that was bad. Believers, yep. You got that right. Yeah, they, you know, really an example of, you know, of like, you know, stands, like over obsessed fans, just, just like Eminem, uh, said, said it. Uh, we booze. Yeah, they're pretty toxic. So I'll go down to the contenders. I'll talk about some of Directioners are just as bad as believers. Minecraft fans, uh, yeah, definitely. Toxic. Okay, 90s kids, yep. Now, this is another quote that explains it. I'm a 90s kid myself, and I'm just here to point out that every single decade has its pros and cons. Things you like and things you dislike. Not just the 90s or the 21st century. Yeah, they... Well, this quote explains it well, too. 90s kids do brag about, you know, how their childhood was better than anyone else's. Yep, they sure do. Call of Duty fans. Yep. Donald Trump fans, um, yeah, I see a lot of this stuff all over Facebook about a lot of crazy Trump supporters all on Facebook and stuff, so, yeah. And politics have really bad fandoms. Atelia Axis Power fans. Another, that's uh, pretty tough. YouTube commenters. <laughs> I will admit that I'm guilty of of being, you know, part of this fandom sometimes. But I mean, but there are a lot of toxic YouTube commenters. Internet, internet tough guys. Yeah. Undertale. Yeah, pretty tough. Creepy pasta fans. <laughs> Creepy pasta was meant to be scary, not sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I 
that thing. Weeboos. Someone put that on there twice. Frozen fans. I remember Frozen fame them really isn't popular as much anymore, but it was really toxic. Homophobics. <laughs> Nobody is afraid of homosexuals, and homophobe isn't a fandom. <laughs> Nintendrones. That's kind of toxic. I mean, look, PlayStation's good, Xbox is good. Hey, it's, you know... Warrior cats, and yeah, kind of fortune. Yeah. Hey, at least fortune, you know, solved the Burger King foot lettuce mystery. Am I right? Number fifteen, Burger King foot lettuce. The last thing you want in your Burger King burger is someone's foot fungus, but as it turns out, that might be what you get. A 4chaner uploaded the video to the site showcasing his feet in a plastic bin of lettuce with the statement, This is the lettuce that you eat at Burger King. Admittedly, he had shoes on, but that's even worse. Fetish fandom. <laughs> well, oh, wait, tough guys. That's a repeat. And then, then you got fetish fandom, so. Yeah. <laughs> Draw your fetish. Super Smash Brothers fan base. Yeah. Pokemon fans. Gotta talk. Uh, Go team. Tumblr. Yeah, I really, some of these I really don't have as much to say about, other than I really agree. But the Super Warlock, yeah, bullies. <laughs> yeah, bullies suck. Stop bullying you. Jake Paulers, yeah. Another real Jake Paulers are really toxic. So are Logan Paulers. I don't know if that's gonna be on here though. Emos. Yeah, cutting. Okay, this explains it well. The music is good, but if you aren't emo and you claim to like emo music, then they will attack you and call you fake fans. Suicide supporters. <laughs> yeah, that's really toxic. Deviant art users. Kind of sucks. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy haters, crybabies, K-pop fans, Rise of the Brave Frozen, Tangle Dragons, Other Kin, Bank memers. Yeah, kind of. The meme fan base is pretty toxic, although memes are really funny. Uh, SAO, sort of online fans. Bigots. Skeleton. Cli uh, click. Band 21 Pilots fans. Transphobic. Social Justice Warriors. And Naru kind of fans. Okay, so. Hope you enjoyed me giving my opinion on the most toxic fandoms. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and peace out, fans.